Nikki, you got any last words before we go any further? Yeah, I have a special mic for you to the only guy whose hands are smaller than Donald Trump's. Mm -hmm. Have fun, baby. Endorsed by her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Everybody, we finally got an answer. What happens to a TV show when Amy Schumer cancels? It's so basic, run the mill blonde. How do you have no kids but still look like a soccer mom? Nikki had a talk show all about sex. Looking at her, it's obvious why it wasn't a success. That's the second canceled TV show with you as a host. I guess it's not as easy as stealing Sarah Silverman's jokes. <laughs> Just wait. Hit it, Joshua. Making jokes about Brad's height, it just feels wrong. So I'd like to focus on the fact that dwarves don't live that long. Ooh, so dark. I'll stick to calling you shorty. Cause the truth is, Brad, you're gonna die before 40. I can see you're a redhead as I tower above you. Oh, look, another reason why God doesn't love you. Big head, short arms. I am perplexed. Am I battling Brad Williams or a baby T-Rex? <laughs> He's never addressed the whole company before. Hi. Oh, sorry. Is that God? I've decided to blow up first. The limited series, Miracle Workers, premieres Tuesday at 10.30 on CBS. I'm very sensitive about my tiny arms. I can't masturbate standing up. It's, 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 it's depressing. It's very really depressing. It's very depressing. That's not why we're here. We're here to do rap. So Joshua, give me a beat. <laughs> Nikki attacked my size because that was her last resort. It's ironic because her career is always coming up short. Your career was collapsing. I'll kill the final buzz. I just stomped your ass flatter than it already was. Face like a horse, a thoroughbred stallion. So many comics in her vag. It's hosted by Byron Allen. She called me T-Rex and I laugh at that. Who knew Kelly Ann Conway was so good at battle rap? <laughs> Make America short again. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, hit it. You called me a horse? That'll backfire. Okay, did someone put Aaron Paul in the dryer? I like you, Brad. I don't want to mistreat you. I only did this for the pot of gold I get if I beat you. To find a G-spot, you have to climb up it. Borrow some shoes from one of Jeff Dunham's puppets. I don't want to be mean. I know I'm not a saint, but I just ripped you a new one like your head did your mom's taint. That's right. Tearing up since day one. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's close this out. That's me, Nikki. You're like a trashy Barbie found in a dumpster behind an Arby's. Take a look at her. She looks like Ivanka Trump if she was an LA6 and raised in a dump. Her talk show is garbage. I'm happy that it's through. The only thing that's not safe is betting on a season two. I'm not saying Nikki Glaser is always sucking, but I'm saying she's on her knees more than Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> that much when you kneel. It's kind of the same <laughs> deal. That's the weird part for you. Drop the beat. <laughs> you mentioned oral sex. Now, why is that a slam? You suck every time you bump into a man. There's a word I would call you, but the censors are rigid. They said make fun of his head or his tiny little digits. You would say that his casket looks like a mini fridge or call him a troll that lives underneath a bridge. It's not nice, Nikki. We don't want you cursing. I won't call you a Brad, I'll be the bigger person. All right, now is the moment of truth. Y'all already know what time it is, man. It's time for Met the Cow Man to declare a winner. But first, but first, but first, but first, because y'all been such a great crowd, I want to hear it from you guys. What do you think? Who should be a winner? Should it be Nasty Nikki Glazer? <laughs>
Or should it be badass Brad Williams? <laughs> Sorry, but you know what? You came up a little short, Brad. Nikki! 